It's still a little bit unclear on what regulators are looking for in this data, I think, um, or, or from this type of data. I think um, as far as standards go, we're, we're definitely in need of consistent standards vis-a-vis -vis consistent processes for how we collect data, you know, for how data is processed, how data is transformed. From the regulatory perspective, um, I think the European Agency has been quiet at this point. The FDA, interestingly, they put out the public um, uh, request for opinions about new technology, of which wearables was one of those pieces. So they're starting to gather information about how they're being used and, and presumably they'll start to bring some guidance out, which again will be positive for the industry. I welcome that and I'm, I'm hoping that we see, we see more of that. Regulation and guidance in this area will be very helpful. I think one of the biggest challenges is in the validation of the of the wearables, uh, and that's certainly somewhere that uh, that's certainly an area that the regulators can support on by providing guidance. There's a lot of I guess variability in the data um, that really screams for ways to now take that data and, and standardize it. Regulators are looking to us to do that. In fairness, I think the jury's still out in, in terms of what those standards should be. That's how things work. We will need as an industry to start to push this methodology forward, adopt a scientific and appropriate approach. Um, I think the, uh, the FDA and others are ready to embrace it, but you know, it takes us to, to take the first steps and start to put things in place and discuss things with them and, uh, and implement them in our protocols.